So we want to find the median value, but the trick is we have aggregated data. So we don't have all the values listed out. We have it like this. We have our values, seven of them, and here is the frequency or the, the um, counting of all of the different values. So we have 90 11s, 125 t values of 12, and all the way down. So we could go to the trouble of uh, creating VBA code or formulas to produce something like this where we're going to repeat um, all the numbers the, the necessary amount of times all the way down. But there is a little trick, something that we can do to find the median much quicker. So the first step is we want to know, okay, how many, if we were to add all these up, how many values do we have? And then we want to divide it into by two to, to get the, the middle part of those values. So simply going to add up all of these values. You'll see we have 2070 divided by 2 because we want to get it right into the middle. The second step is we want to create a pivot with a running total. So not totals like this that just represent the number of 14s or the number of 15s, but adding up the values as we go. So we highlight this, click insert at the top, select pivot table right in here, and I'm going to say existing worksheet. The location is right there. Click OK. Now, here's the field list. I'm going to take the value field and put it in the row label area. Take our, our frequency and put it down here in the values area. So far, this looks exactly the same as this over here. But now I'm going to left click in here, right click, and here it says show values as. You can just barely see it. And then you, what you can't see is on the right hand side, if you scroll down, select running total in. Select that, make sure it says value, press the OK button. And now this has changed. Now we're getting, uh, as we go down, so this is the first value, 90. The 215 is adding up these two. 355 is adding up these three values all the way down to the bottom. So now what we want to do is look for this value in between the different pairs of values here. So hopefully this helps see the different uh, groups of numbers. So imagine that we're here that it's actually a 0. Between 0 and 90 is bin 1. Uh, between 90 and 215 is bin 2. And you know, between bin 3 is between 215 and 355, all the way down. So we can see that this value is in between, is in the sixth pair of numbers. 1029, 1574. So we want, so that's the 6, and our answer is going to be the 6th number over here, which is the 17. So now we just have to add our index match. Now, the match, normally when you do a match, like a VLOOKUP, you want to find it, something, the exact value somewhere else. We know we're not going to find this value in this range of numbers. So we're not going to put in the 0 or the false for exact match. We're just going to, actually I forgot the initial value. We're looking for this value here, the H3, 1035, comma, the lookup array where we're looking for it is in here. And as I just mentioned, we know we're not going to find that exact value, but this will work because we're always, it's always increasing as we go down, the numbers are getting bigger. So we can just leave off the optional match type. It defaults to guessing or closest match. And it gives us the correct answer of 6, which is our sixth pair of numbers here. So now we just have to give it our index. Think of index as your answer, answer area. So now I'm just going to select this group of cells and say, of those cells, I want the sixth number, which of course is the 17, and that's our answer.